Hey Tenfold, I am Kelsey from Boxbrook High School. I have this question that I need help with. Thank you. Josh is planning to buy a new stove on higher purchase. Very important. The moment you see higher purchase, it is simple interest. Very important. Okay. It says the cash price of the stove is 6,420 Rand. He has to pay a 10% deposit. Remember, higher purchase, what they do is they say, okay, you can have this on monthly installments, but we need your assurance that you're going to pay us off. So they'll take a little quickie out of your cost and they'll say, pay this amount as a deposit to assure us that you're going to. So it's usually like quite a big amount, like 10% is quite a big amount. And then you take that away from your total amount and then that is what you repay on a monthly. Okay, so remember, higher purchase always involves a deposit. Next it says, well, he has to pay a 10% deposit and then pay the remaining amount over 36 months. That should silently signal in your mind that it's three years, okay? At an interest rate of 8% per annum. An insurance premium of 11 Rand 20 is added to every monthly payment. That's just to make sure that you're going to pay off your loan or that you're going to not break your stove. <laughs> That is added to every monthly payment. So it says calculate Josh's monthly payments. So the first thing with higher purchase, deal with the deposit. Okay, so they said the cash price is 6,420 Rand. And now he's saying you have to pay a 10% deposit. So how do we work out a 10% deposit? The deposit equals 10%, which is the same as saying 10 out of 100, of multiplied by 6,420. And that is going to give us mental maths, guys. This is basically just dividing by 10. So you're going to get 642 Rand. That's the deposit. So that's what the shop is saying. Okay, we want you to pay the 642 Rand up front, just as an assurance that you're buying the stove and then the rest of it you can pay off on a monthly. So that's the deposit. So now to calculate the monthly payments. Okay, first we need to take away the deposit because he's already paid that. So the total for the stove is going to be that 6,420 Rand, which is the total cost of the stove minus his deposit. Okay, so Plug that into our calculator, 6,420 minus 642, and that's going to give us 5,778 Rand. So that is what he has to pay off on a monthly. Now, remember, I said, very important, simple interest. So now what we have to do is calculate how much this thing is going to cost in total over 36 months or after three years and then calculate the monthly. So firstly, we need to say the total he's going to pay over the 36 month period is this cost of the fridge after his deposit with interest added. So interest is calculated at, I think it was 8%. Yeah. 8%, which is 0 0.08. Remember, always put your interest over 100 and because it's higher purchase, it's simple interest. Now they said 36 months in is always in years. So 36 months equals three years. Okay, so in your simple interest formula, in is always in years. So they're going to say basically for the three year period, we are adding 8% on to the amount after you've paid your deposit. So that's what this whole expression says. So the amount he's going to pay off over the 36 month period is equal to, stick this in our calculator, 5,778 multiplied by, plug in your bracket, one plus 0, 0,08 multiplied by three. Remember bod mass guys says that we can't add these two together. We have to multiply first and then add one. So just put it into your calculator as is. Your calculator takes bod mass into account. So we're going to get 
7,164 Rand and 72 cents. Double check. Okay, perfect. So, basically, just to explain what we've got up until now, they said pay a 10% deposit. So we worked that out and subtracted it from the cost of the stove. So he's paid that 10% deposit. Now, the cost of the stove is sitting at this amount. They're saying, okay, you can pay this off over three years, but we're going to charge you interest for those three years. So that's what we've worked out now. We've said, okay, that amount minus the deposit for three years on 8% is going to be the 7,164 Rand. Okay, so that's where we are now. So that's his monthly, that's his payments for three years, but they're saying pay us back on a monthly. So they're saying this amount with the interest included divided by however many months that you're going to pay it back by. So that's what we have to do now. So the monthly payments is equal to this amount with interest, 7,164 Rand and 72 cents. Remember they said you can pay it back over three years or 36 months. So amount per month is amount divided by 36 months. And that is going to give us, we've already got this in our calculator, so we can just say divide by 36 months, and we're going to get 199 Rand and two cents. Now, if you stop there, you're gonna lose marks, okay? Remember, it said calculate as monthly payments, and that's fine, these are the monthly payments of the stove, but the question said, remember right at the end, they're like, we're going to add a little sneaky insurance premium onto that per month because you might wreck your stove and then we need to have insurance about that. So remember, read your entire blurb. It's really important. Make sure you've accommodated every single fact that they give you. So this is what you'd pay off for just the stove, but there are insurance premiums. So let's double check what that value is. Insurance was 11 Rand 20 per month. So the total monthly is equal to this for just the basic stove per month plus that 11 Rand 20 as an insurance premium. Okay, remember, very important, if they mention that as a last resort, you calculate all your monthly payments and then you add your insurance premium. So, should already have the answer, so we just add 11 Rand 20 per month and we get 210 Rand and 22 cents. And those are Josh's monthly repayments if he's going to be paying back the stove after a deposit for 36 months with insurance added on. Okay.